The Tri and Thunder are three and zero, getting ready for a homecoming game against Hope this weekend. Coach Apps, how are you? I'm great. I'm great. I'm ready to uh, ready to get homecoming started. Concordia, Wisconsin, my first ever experience at Zollner Stadium, uh, watching a Tri and football game. I love the vibe uh, from the garage door coming up at the beginning yeah. to the packed house that you guys had to the way your kids really celebrate each other and encourage each other on the field. It was an awesome experience. It's got to be fun to play uh, right there at Zollner in front of all of that excitement. It's an amazing advantage playing at home. Uh, we, we definitely have tons and tons of support here at Trine University and uh, you know having one of the best crowds in all of Division Three football and really all of small college football is a huge advantage and uh, Kids are always a little, a little bit more juice to play at home. I thought your defense really stepped up in that game. 21-16 win over Concordia, Wisconsin, uh, you know, a week ago Saturday. Um, you know they made a big play on the punt block and scored a touchdown. Right. They they stayed. You give them credit. They stayed in the game. I thought your guys responded at the end with a great defensive stand. Really did. I thought we played well defensively pretty much the whole day. We had I think four big plays, four plays over 10 yards that we gave up, and uh, those were. We're, we're big and, and we're able to hone in some, on some things that we can improve upon, but overall uh, our guys played with tremendous effort and energy and uh, discipline defensively and, and that, that really kept us in the game. As, as a head coach, I'd like to see us as a team do a better job putting teams away. Uh, spent a lot of time this week working on our punt team and uh, working on grinding out the clock when we need to grind it out. I love the fact too that your offensive playmakers each had moments. Chesney, Boggs, Dylan Dowling, uh, Winters, all those guys stepped up at different times and, and made really big plays. It was exciting to watch. And that'll be our offensive identity this right. year. It's it's not a one-man show this year. We've got a multiple-pronged attack and we've got to continue making plays and spreading the ball around and uh, being unpredictable. As I said before on the show, predictability is vulnerability. Right. So I uh, want to be un unpredictable and establish the run running game and uh, take, take the passing game when it's available. What did you do with your bye week? Obviously, uh, you, you and Hope both were on a bye. Mm -hmm. um, you said you're going to give the guys a couple of days off to kind of recuperate. But beyond that, how did you use the extra time to prepare? Well, we went out and recruited. Uh, on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, and we came back on, on Wednesday evening and had a practice, and then uh, on, on Thursday and Friday. We really focused on some situational things, like in, in, in some clock situations, uh, so that uh, when they come up throughout the season, we're prepared for those. And we also spent a lot of time trying to develop our, our younger players. Mm -hmm. Uh, we did run into a little bit of weather issue on Friday, so we had to cancel Friday's practice, but we got a little bit of extra meeting time and then uh, had a full practice on Sunday, and typically Sundays are conditioning and film sessions. So we're able to get a lot of things done in our punt game, a lot of things done with our younger players and uh, improve, on our, uh, improve our football intelligence overall uh, in situations that come up in the game. Simeon said it was pretty hot out there Tuesday. It was very, very, very hot. But he survived Tuesday. to talk about it. It was. So. <laughs> and, and, you know, our, our kids had such great energy and focus on Tuesday that I really didn't realize how hot it was until we went back into the facility and uh, it just kind of hit us all at once as, as coaches. But uh, tremendous practice on Tuesday and followed it up with a, a good practice yesterday. We've got to be perfect today. Mm -hmm. For sure. Hope was the preseason pick to win the conference. Uh, obviously, they got tripped up in their first game. Really won a close game uh, by two points over Aurora. And then the, sand, the, the meat in the sandwich there right between was an 80 to six crushing of defiance. Mm -hmm. um, you know, those scores are all over the map. You know, you had, right. you had a loss, a close win, and a blowout win. Um, I know you've dissected every clip you can from Hope. What are you looking at with them, and, and what do you know you're going to have to do to be successful? Well, they're, they're going to play hard. They're going to be well coached, mm -hmm. and uh, they're going to be physical. I mean, and, and really when it comes down to it, we've got to make sure that we match their toughness level, if not exceed it. We've got to make sure that we play with amazing effort and we have to make sure that we play discipline. If we can, if we can beat them in two of those three areas, we'll win the football game. If we can beat them in all three, we're going to be in really good shape. Okay, and and then 
you know, on top of that, you know, as always, the turnover battle comes into any kicking game come into play. But I think really the toughness, our, our, our effort, and our discipline are going to decide this football game. Last question on a busy homecoming week. Uh, some coaches see homecoming as an advantage. Some see it as a disadvantage because there's so much going on and it can be distracting. What's your homecoming approach? Do you do anything differently? And what does that mean that it's homecoming week for the Tri and Thunder? We do zero things differently right. other than we will have a pep session on Friday. Okay. But as far as our kids are concerned and our coaches are concerned, homecoming's about the game. Right. You know, and it's about winning the game. For a lot of our alums, this is the only time they can come on campus this year. Uh, we want to show them the type of football program that we have and the type of young men that we are. So we want to go out, show them that we're tough, show them that we can play discipline, and show them that we give it our all every single play. Coach Avs and the Trine Thunder are 3-0 and with Hope coming to town for a matchup Saturday at 1 o'clock. Coach, best of luck. Thank you very much. Go Thunder.